and we're back with War Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we started the Dream Den, the final area of the game, might I add. And we had a complete freak out. Because the Bulborb AI just completely wigged out and wasted a whole bunch of Pikmin. So we had to redo this floor, or I had to redo this floor, more specifically. But save time, just get to jump in and move on to sub level 6 and forget that ever happened. I seriously don't know what- I just said forget what happened, yet I'm bringing it up immediately after, but yeah, I seriously don't know what the AI was thinking at that moment. <laughs> it just completely freaked out. All the ball worms just woke up for no reason, I've never seen that happen before. I have no clue. Um, well this guy has the treasure, obviously. So, and he of course has to be in the dead center of the arena, aka the worst place to be he could possibly be. Go figure. So he sucked up the president, but that makes him heavy enough to actually be vulnerable. So we did a little damage. Actually, this is a bad strategy. Um, <laughs> uh, I you learn something new every day. Uh, wow, all you have to have health just by doing this. It's really weird, but hey, I'm not complaining. It's working. Uh, one thing I do need to mention is last time I did do the slow strat for the fiery ball black, aka manually punching it. So I do have both for sprays again. Ouch. Both presents are at half health. Uh, that's not bad, but it's not great either. Uh, it should be dead soon so I can stop with this nonsense. <laughs> yep, that's it. It's down. Uh, and now we have the fun part. Yeah, because that was totally fun. Uh, actually fighting everything. I'm trying to assess how much I would even need to fight because just how everything is laid out. How many of these guys do I actually need to take out? Uh, and also fighting their quicksand is super nerve wracking. Oh, that was easy. Question, will I be able to actually Get the treasure from- Oh, uh, I'm totally not gonna risk it. Definitely not gonna risk it. <laughs> I was thinking about like just having a white Pikmin just swoop in and carry it out, but that's not gonna happen. We're gonna do this the long way, the safe way. Uh, okay, and... Throw it off the punch all of our... Yeah, sometimes you actually like, punch, but okay. Uh... White Pikmin because quicksand. It's not really quicksand because you can't actually sink, but. Oh! Okay. Well, okay, the red Pikmin are gonna be useless now. <laughs> so we're gonna have them do something. Help out. Yeah, look how much trouble that is getting up the slope. This is one of those treasures that's really cool because, oh, this is a GameCube game. At the reflection, you can see the Pikmin through it. It's kind of a cool effect, and I have no clue how they animate stuff like that, but it's lo it looks cool. Um, this is another. This is another place with a trend of like one treasure, which kind of sucks. Uh, there is a rest floor, but I don't know if there's treasure on it. There's like a pattern with these dead ends, but we don't care about Nectar. We have way more than enough items for the entire rest of the game, so we can just move on. I'm looking ahead because I'm my memory is pretty foggy actually of this area. It's super long. Holy Heroes is pretty formulaic, so it's not that bad. So level 7 is the rest for right, it looks like. Or it's totally the enemy build. <laughs> Well, I... Wow, I was really wrong. Um, Alright, uh, how many treasures are here? It looks like there's only one treasure based on the guide. Oh, shoot. Uh, I'm gonna hide him out here and hope the bomb doesn't fall. Actually, to be honest, I, I'd find that really hilarious if a bomb actually did fall. I wouldn't even be like frustrated or anything, but it would just be so ironic, that would be funny. 
But I'd be a little frustrated, but yeah, not too much. Uh, dodging everything. That's the exit. Might as well play that out while we're here. And totally lose all the flower picking. So we're not gonna do that. Oh, that's really bad. Control six spinning and bombs. Oh, wow, that was lucky. <laughs> I will take it. Uh, no complaints. Holy... Yeah. That was, like, super, super lucky. Uh, two bumbling snitch bugs and a blowhog. I can't complain. And I'm gonna lose all my white flower pikmin. But this is actually really good. Uh, I'm gonna take out this guy because he sucks. I actually, nah, I'm gonna let him live. Meaning I can't actually kill him, so I'm just gonna pretend like I told him I do that. But this guy has the treasure and he came right to us, so I can't complain. This is really good luck, actually. Thank you for that dreadful bulbor RNG last time, I guess. Yeah, because they just kept waking up for no reason. I have no clue why. I think they were sitting on fire geysers and it just kept waking them up. Well, I guess, yeah, I don't know, you'd probably wake up if you were sitting on a fire geyser, but it was just more of a tiny placement. The guy's just letting off some steam, I think. Throwing bombs left and right. And I can't remember if the white Pikmin have some like, special about them, like they can't lose their flowers, but. All the white people are still flowers after getting hit by that thing a lot, so... I'll just assume there is until I see proof otherwise. Like, right here, probably. I'll probably prove you wrong right here. So. Yeah, maybe white people... Oh yeah, white people are like super tough against these guys. I forgot, actually. Um, we have tons of white Pikmin. This guy's just being a jerk. Like, this guy isn't hurting anything, he's just... Make it take forever. I don't know if they can go beyond these walls. I don't want to find out to be honest. I think I have seen a video where there was one instance of a Pikmin seemingly dying out of bounds, but I have no clue how they did it, even they were completely stumped. So... Yeah. It was in the snag hole, but for some reason, just the Pikmin got out of bounds and died. It's super weird, I don't understand how that even happened, but I don't think they understand. Yeah, they didn't really understand either. So this is a stupid floor. It's just, this floor is just not even, it's not hard, it's just stupid. Um, you have every type of hazard all in one place. So what I usually do is just go in sets like this. Like I try to spot as much electricity as I can, Bought everything that has to do with electricity and just wipe it out. Except the weevils because actually the, the yellow ones can suck because they end support Pikmin. The other types you can easily use purple Pikmin on. The captains can even do this. <laughs> You're feeling lazy. Um, so there's one more up there, but he's right next to poison, so we can't actually. I don't want to risk it. Uh, probably won't be a problem. Okay, so take this out and round one. Yeah, that's only round one. Or I could totally miss something. Yeah, you never know where what direction Pikmin are gonna carry stuff in. So I just like being on the safe side and just clearing out everything. Fire, any Pikmin can take it out with the timing. So I'm just gonna do this the, the, the risky way, but the fast way, and just these purples. Now the electricity is mostly gone, it's not really worth it. So if you time it really well, like when the fire- Ah, actually good flame effects for a but uh, yeah, see how fast that goes, no problem. Classic Weevils, Fiery Weevils, I don't know if there's a special name, they, this whole Piclopedia, I think is what they call it, like a database of all the enemies, but I'm- I obviously can't look at it right now. And because we're gonna use white paper to carry everything anyway, we might as well just not bother with the poison for now. 
and see that there's an absolute enemy there, but it looks like a purple one, so I think we could safely carry it back. Or the Pikmin could just attack it and not be bothered with the treasure, which is really bad. I'm just gonna punch it. That's usually the fastest thing to do with these guys, just punch them. With the rocket punch, they're super easy to take out. Look at that boy white Pikmin guy. Oh, he's still trying to attack it. Uh, and good, the Pikmin are taking it the smart way and not the fire path way. Oh, uh, yeah. I was hoping they would just do something totally weird. Um, trying to just carry this, but Pikmin are being stubborn about it. We're going to use Fire Pikmin after all if we want to do this the fast way, so I'm just going to get them. Yeah, Fire and Poison. Okay, once the electricity is down, this is a little that you actually have to worry about. Yeah. yeah, I'm just gonna toss them and hope they don't do something dumb. <laughs> like attack fire geyser when I'm not around. This guy's not gonna be a problem at all. Okay, this... What kind? I can't even tell what kind. I think it's a lunch one. It's gonna be bad. Uh, I'm gonna be a little careful here. Just a little. And it's stuck on the wall. That's really weird. Actually, it's stuck behind this guy, so if I take him out, maybe he'll fall, I hope. Or I could just completely glitch out the game. It's just wonderful. Oh boy. Well, <laughs> uh, apparently, just tossing him out works. Okay. I'm gonna have to use some weird strats here. Uh, Purple Pikmin. I saw the weird. Actually, this is really. I'm I'm happy with this because all the weird stuff is happening on camera for the most part, not on camera, but on screen. So it's like, of course, it's actually. I'm actually kind of. I didn't drop it. Never mind. That was waste. I wonder how long it actually had been like that. How long I was just sitting there. I just didn't notice. Probably a long time. This could be bad depending on what direction the Pikmin actually decide to carry it in, but I'll hope for the best. I had the 6-3. Uh, red. Going red. No, wait. Uh, poison. So actually we're going to do this. Check out that at least. And then... Maybe it's just these purple things up there. It'd be faster. In a lot of ways. Let's see, it takes 30, so it would take a total of 40 Pikmin to actually carry. If I can get 40 Pikmin on there. It looks like Silver having to go through the wall to actually pick it up, but... Today they're going this way. Can't complain. Uh, this will go down pretty fast. Oh shoot. Uh... Crisis averted. Ah, that whistling guy is gonna get annoying. I could get a good toss in and oh nope, not, not this time. Next time. Yeah, he's going down. Cause he like by controls Pikmin. It's not. It doesn't hurt them, but it's, it's annoying. And that guy is actually being really cooperative by not picking up the treasure and can't complain. Ah, oh, looks like you could get like 50 on there. 45 at least, but uh... Twenty. That's a lot of Pikmin, but it's really not that big. Yeah, it looks like you can get 30 on there. It's actually really impressive. Hmm. Ok, 
Okay, so that takes care of that. Uh, we can move on. <laughs> that floor takes forever, it just does. And Pikmin can't actually die there, apparently. I hope. Okay, this is the rest floor, I think. I'm just checking to be, see if it isn't glitching out. To be honest, it could. Uh, nope, it's supposed to be empty, so it's probably going to be stuff here, though. I'm just going to be careful. Uh, it's going to be long, but I don't care. The next stretch is going to be super long. Actually, it's going to be kind of mid. Okay, there he is. Uh, yeah, I called on the Pikmin to make sure that the entire squad wouldn't go after it, because that could be really disastrous. This thing mostly drops the red, the uh, nectar. But that's good, because we actually need it a little. Not too much, but just a little. One white thing, can you? Yeah, Pikmin can kind of hog it. I think there are a couple more. So I'm just gonna scour. Oh, I totally didn't see that. Uh, got worried for nothing. One of these guys, that's good, because we need it for the next floor. Oh wow, I should really call these guys. Oh, that was close enough, apparently. Uh, yeah, the hit detection for purple Pikmin is super random. And that one Pikmin is poisoned and I can't do anything about it. Uh, oh good. Close call. <laughs> yeah, you can't do anything during that cutscene. I mean, during when you're actually drinking the thing. So, yeah, that was really unfortunate timing. That's this. That's another one. I thought there'd be another one, the, the green ones, but apparently not. And that takes care of that. Make sure everything's safe. There's one more dead end, so is there anything in here? <laughs> nope, apparently not. Uh, apparently there is supposed to be one more. But, oh well. No treasure. We're just gonna move on. And the next floor probably won't even be able to actually show anything before having to pause the game frantically. Yeah, uh, this floor. <laughs> so obviously we're gonna call it here. So next time we pick from 2, we're gonna get to the end of the game, hopefully. See you then.